What's up guys, it's Skills, and here I am with a new video, and as you can see, I'm still playing Call of Duty 4, and this is not the remaster version, it's the old one, and as you guys know, I love this game. I don't play it that much, actually, um, because at the moment, I'm trying to understand why do people fucking play Fortnite, like, I don't fucking understand that, like, <laughs> alright, I played it, and first match I didn't see anyone I, I played the single one like where you you're playing uh, one versus all so it's like free for all on Call of Duty so I played that my first match was so fucking boring like I didn't see anyone till the five six last survivors and the circle around me was so fucking small and I didn't win the first match. I was like third or fourth or something like that. But it was so boring. Like I didn't see anyone. Like I just started wandering around trying to find someone and just uh, getting some wood and stuff, shit like that. And I don't understand why people have fun like, with that. Like probably 50, 60 percent of my uh, games on Fortnite. I like that, like, I don't see anyone for, uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and then just see someone at the last, uh, like, 5 minutes of the match, and that's, wh that's quite boring, to be honest, like, I even managed to win once, uh, where I, I just had one kill, like, I literally had one kill, like, I didn't kill anyone else, but not because I wasn't killing them. It was just because I didn't see anyone. Like I was trying so hard to find them, and um, like there were other games where people were dumb and they just uh, showed up in front of my screen and all that stuff. So it was pretty easy for me to kill them, and I had a few more kills. Like there are other times where I basically have like five, six kills or something like that, but I just died because there are too many people in the area. So uh, that's not balanced like there are times where you don't find anyone and then you win but it's boring so you have to decide whether it's boring and then you win but you don't kill anyone or you just find too many people and then it's so based on luck so it's just based on uh, you killing another one then another one kills you then another one kills the one that killed you so that's just so stupid and it's all um, damaged by the fact that it, you don't regenerate your HP so basically uh, even a noob can kill you if you you were uh, for example for instance you were uh, you just kill four good players and you didn't find and no one none of them had uh, I don't know shield or bandages so you can't like uh, get your HP or shield back and you I don't know have like 20 HP or 30 HP left and then a noob just comes by and hits you just once with an, I, I don't know a common M4 and, you, and you're dead and he wins and that that doesn't make any sense like and even if you like you would, someone would probably say, alright, you, so you didn't, you shouldn't have, like, uh, fought, uh, with, uh, with those four good players. But that's not the point. Well, I, what if you had no choice? You had to fight them. On Call of Duty 4, you would easily kill all of them. You would kill those four and then kill, uh, the last noob. But that doesn't happen on Fortnite. Why? Because Fortnite is for new players. So, what happens that if, a new player, uh, um, I don't know, uh, has like probably 400, 500 hours. Uh, that player already knows how to how the game works, so he knows that if he stays alive, he might have a chance to win, even against a good, even against good players, because all the good players are gonna kill each other out. So uh, he might get. The new player might get lucky and win. So that's that's the thing. I'm. Um, that's why Fortnite 
uh, has more more players than any other game right now. It's PUBG, for example. I think it's a bit more difficult than Fortnite. I haven't played it yet, but I've seen Shroud, Shroud on Twitch playing it, and I've seen quite a lot of other videos. I would play PUBG, but um, uh, it's not free. That's another f reason why Fortnite is winning over uh, over PUBG, and um, that's going to be the next. That's how it's going to be for the like next three years I think I'm pretty sure that Fortnite will actually die out because one of the bad like aspects of Fortnite is that if you die in the first five minutes you have to go back uh, to search another match and that's quite annoying because on Call of Duty for example if you join a match you play that match for 10 minutes or 20 minutes I don't know how long same for a CSGO, for example, Counter-Strike. You look, you look for a competitive match and you play for minimum 30 minutes or 20 minutes, maximum 35 minutes, one hour. So that's one thing that Fortnite does not offer. Like, when you play Fortnite, you don't know what <laughs> what's going to happen. Like, you don't know whether you're going to play like 5 minutes or uh, 30 minutes. And I don't know. There are people that like that, they, there are people that like to stay hidden and don't do shit for like 5-10 minutes. I don't like to do that, like, if, I, if I'm playing, I, I just want to play, I, like, there, that's the thing, like, I'm pretty sure that people play Fortnite so much just because they want to win, but that's not the point of gaming. I, I like to win, more than probably more than anyone, but... I, I also like to play, so I don't want to like play only to win, because that doesn't wouldn't make any sense. So uh, maybe I'll do some Fortnite videos, but I, I'm not sure. Um, I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Peace out.